Hello, my name is Nori Kadem Devineau, and I'm one of the program directors here at Mission College Pharmacy Technician Training Program. Thank you so much for joining my information meeting. It's going to be about 25, 30 minutes, and I'll sure I'll answer all the questions that you have about the pharmacy program. However, I'd like to hear from you, so please don't hesitate to contact me should you have any additional questions. Also, at the end of the information meeting, I'll talk about how to apply to the program and how to contact us for the next steps. Let me go ahead and share my screen and we'll go ahead and get started here. Okay, Mission College, developing the pharmacy technicians of tomorrow. That's our motto here. Here's our beautiful brand new campus, and we're lucky to be in this new building that you see in the picture here. Our mission statement, at Mission College, we're committed to our community, its students, and the pharmacy healthcare industry. Our, our goal is really to develop competent, motivated pharmacy technicians that are gonna make healthcare a better place for everybody, for our loved ones, for ourselves. Our program model is that we make full use of in-person, online, and on-site externships for the best mix of instruction and most flexibility for students. Our program is great for all sorts of people, but we have high school graduates or people who graduated years ago from high school, returning to the workforce after having some time off, current college students, maybe you're taking classes here at Mission or at another institution, ex-health healthcare workers or people who want to work in other parts of healthcare and want to transition into pharmacy. People with a full-time or part-time job, the program is designed for you to still go to school, to still work, to still take care of your family and be able to come to class as a student as well. Great for those who are just looking for a career change or anyone who wants entry into the pharmacy or health fields or those just simply looking for an accelerated program to give them the skills needed to start their pharmacy career in a short amount of time. So what's being a pharmacy technician at Mission College? Our program is an accelerated eight-month training program, which includes lectures, labs, and a clinical externship that prepare and qualify you for pharmacy practice, your pharmacy technician certification board exam, and licensure with the California State Board of Pharmacy. After our program, graduates of the training program will receive a Community Education Certificate of Completion, eligibility for licensure, registration by the California State Board of Pharmacy, PTCB certification eligibility, to take the exam that is, and job placement assistance and recommendations for years to come. An update that we're very proud about, Mission College Pharmacy Technician Program is a PTCB recognized education training program for technicians seeking to earn their PTCB certification credentials, CPHT. Regarding job placement, we cannot guarantee job placement. However, we are committed to our students' success and finding employment. Our job placement director works with each and every student to fine tune them in job search and professional development, even from the first day. So the job outlook, 90% job offer rate out of the externship. Expected salary rate is anywhere between $19 to $25 an hour. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the healthcare industry is experiencing accelerated growth and workers with healthcare knowledge and skills are in high demand. So what do you actually do as a pharmacy technician? Well, I'll read you the definition from the California State Board of Pharmacy. A pharmacy technician is an individual who under the direct supervision and control of a pharmacist performs packaging, manipulative, repetitive, or other non-discretionary tasks related to the processing of a prescription in a licensed pharmacy. So what are those non-discretionary tasks? Those include removing the drug or drugs from stock, counting, pouring, mixing pharmaceuticals, placing the product into a container, affixing the label to the container, and packaging and or repackaging medications. 
So about our classes and curriculum, they are written and taught by both registered pharmacists and certified pharmacy technicians practicing in all areas of pharmacy. So the beauty of our program is that we don't have one instructor that's teaching the whole program. We bring in instructors based on their specialty in the pharmacy to teach different subjects. Our support staff, Jessica Luffler, my counterpart here, program director and instructor. Myself, I co-direct the program um, with Jessica. I focus primarily on externship and job placement, and I'm also an instructor. We both feel it's really important to be in the classroom with the students um, to get to know them well, which helps them later on when we're looking for job placement and externship placement. Um, Mark Zamzow is the Health Occupations Administrative Assistant, and his contact information and all our contact information is here. Students will receive 400 plus contact hours, which include lecture and lab instruction, tutoring and workshop sessions, online instructional support, externship training in a pharmacy. All of our subjects, they're broken down into modules. We've got 13 modules and all of them are based upon each other. Therefore, we cannot have rolling admissions. We all start on the first day and we all end together as a cohort. The first module is Intro to Pharmacy Practice. This is where you learn about what is a pharmacy technician? What do you do as a pharmacy technician? Where are all the jobs? How much money do you make per hour? All those burning questions that you have get answered in Intro to Pharmacy Practice. The next module is Pharmacy Communications and Customer Service. This is where we learn how to communicate with um, different uh, patients, doctors, nurses. And in this class, we learn how to be compassionate, how to use um, appropriate communications with people of different cultures and nationalities and illnesses. All of these modules are built upon each other. Therefore, you can't have the third module, which is terminology and abbreviations, for example, unless you've had the first and second module, intro to pharmacy and communications. All of our modules are built upon each other. So what you learn in one subject gets applied to the next. Moving on to pharmacy law, we want you to know the do's and don'ts of working in pharmacy and the regulations. Pharmacy calculations. Um, pharmacy calculations can be as complicated as you want it to be and as easy as you want it to be. We do re revisit fourth grade where you learn about fractions, um, but we work our way up. And depending on your level of math, you can find different pharmacy jobs. There's basic pharmacies that do basic math and there's more ph complicated pharmacies that do more complicated math, like compounding or making chemotherapies. In this program, we'll teach you all layers and levels of this math as well. Pharmaceuticals and pharmacology, this is the meat and potatoes of the program. And this is where students learn how to um, know the brand and generic of the drugs, the different strengths they come in, the drug classifications that they fall into. Um, and really, this is the heart of the program. All of these modules, they vary in duration. Some of these modules are three days because we may feel that we can teach you intro to pharmacy in three days. But a class like pharmacology, where it's the meat and potatoes of the program, this is where you learn um, about all the drugs. This is gonna be a longer module, maybe 15, 16 days. Professional development. This is a fun workshop class where it's sprinkled throughout the program and uh, we get your resumes ready. We do job search. Um, we talk about what it means to work in a pharmacy and the expectations of working in the pharmacy and really just getting you ready for once you're done with the program to start working. Over the counter and healthcare devices. This is where you learn about how to um, sell over the counter products, the blood pressure machines, um, any cough and cold medications that the patients are looking for. Um, so when patients come to the counter and they ask questions, what questions can we can we answer and what can we not answer, for example? Managed care, prescription computer processing and compounding, these are all hands-on classes. So the first half of the class, um, it's more lecture, you're learning how to read the prescriptions that the doctor wrote in terminology, you're learning how to communicate with the patients and communications. And now in the second half of the program, we start applying those and do hands-on. You can see the students here, 
Now they know how to read the prescriptions from the doctors and we can type the labels. We make suppositories, lip balms. It just depends on what's on the menu for the instructor that day. You can see here in the picture in our institutional pharmacy practice class, the students are in class and uh, they're um, drawing out syringes. They are counting out tablets. It's a very hands-on approach to education here in our program at Mission College. Now, the final module, after you've passed all of those other subjects, we put you on an externship. Students will do anywhere between 120 to 240 hours in any of our contracted pharmacy sites. We have independent specialty pharmacies, retail pharmacies, clinic pharmacies, and hospital pharmacies. The student, Mi Hong here, um, she was one of our wonderful students, as we have many of them, um, but she did go off to pharmacy school after our program, and she is working as a pharmacist at a local pharmacy in the area. We're very proud of her. A few things to make your learning experience a success. You have to have access to a computer, webcam, and internet from home. Um, the camera needs to be on. Um, we do do some exams from home, and there's a proctoral software that students use when they're taking the exams through the college. Um, also, on occasion, um, we do do a Zoom class, um, so you need to be able to have the camera on for those classes. You have to be... Um, Come familiar with computers for the most part, basic typing skills, sending emails. You also need to have access to a printer and a Microsoft Office or Word compatible system um, for homework assignments, reports that are due. The weekly take home assignments of homework outside of class time is anywhere between five to 10 hours per week study requirements. And that really depends on you. Um, you may come to class and you're sharp and you're on point and you're interacting. Um, and there might be times where you come to class and you're not really paying attention and you are, you know, had a long day. Therefore, you're going to have to spend more time at home. Usually, if there's an assignment that's going to take a, a long time, I would say more than half an hour, more than an hour. It'll be assigned over the long weekend. Remember, we don't have class on Thursday, on Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. So therefore, the larger assignments, we would give you um, significant ample time to get those done. Oftentimes, the homework um, or the class assignment will be done in the classroom and not much to do outside of the classroom. Attendance restrictions, as I mentioned, some of the classes are only three days, four days. Therefore, if you miss one day of a three-day class, you miss a third of that material. And although we work hard to bring you up to speed, there's nothing quite like being in the class and getting that full lecture. Um, we, so we have attendance restrictions. We allow a max of four days per session. Prerequisites that are required, you have to have proof of high school or high school equivalency. We need to see that before enrollment and acceptance into the program. No criminal background, and it is recommended that you're at the English 1A level. Now, in regards to the high school, we do require that because the Board of Pharmacy is going to require proof of that. And also for the criminal background, the Board of Pharmacy does not allow that either. So health clearances, the following health clearances are a requirement for enrollment. You must have a TB clearance, physical assessment by your physician, and have COVID vaccine and booster. As so These students, all the students will go out into clinical rotations, and these will be requirements. If you do go into a hospital rotation site for your pharmacy, additional immunizations will be required, and we will talk about those as we get closer to the externship. Now, all of the health clearances that we do ask for, um, we don't see these results or even ask for the results until you are accepted into the program. Once you're accepted into the program, we do submit a form to you that has all of these questions that your practitioner will fill out for you. Continuing on, um, part of the physical assessment is emotional mental health aspect. Anything regard the, regarding the brain, seizures, blackouts, migraines, eyes, color blindness, liver, hepatitis, carpal tunnel, allergies, or any other medical conditions that we should be aware of. 
Regarding the carpal tunnel, um, pharmacy is a standing job that has a lot of repetition. So you will be standing for your whole shift. Um, I want to say that 95% of pharmacy jobs will be standing jobs. And it's a lot of repetition. Typing prescriptions, opening bottles. So your hands need to be in good shape to be able to do all of those tasks. Also standing for prolonged periods of time, a pharmacy shift would be at least four hours and then with a break or a lunch there. Um, you have to be able to bend down and lift 25 pounds. We've got totes of medications that come in. Repetitive motion, typing, packaging. Um, possible exposure to chemicals and materials, latex, penicillin, other medications. Again, please note that the health clearance is due at the time of registration, and the forms will be administered to you once you're accepted into the program. We will attach the health clearance form to your acceptance email. We do do random drug testing of all of our students at one point during the program, maybe multiple times, but certainly once for sure. Students will be required to submit a drug test through Student Health Services, and there will be no out-of-pocket costs to the students. The program pays for it. The background check is a requirement to come into the program. We're looking to make sure that there's no criminal background for frauds, felonies, felonies involving narcotics, and detailed instructions to be provided at the time of acceptance. Tuition. So tuition is $5,500, which includes all required class materials, lab coat, and equipment. Unfortunately, financial aid is not available for our program. However, financing is available for qualified applicants through Excite Credit Union, and you can visit this website here um, to inquire more about it. So if you've done your homework and you've done your research on all the pharmacy tech programs there, you'll see that this cost for the tuition is far less than a lot of the other institutions in the area. We do understand that still, um, even though our program is um, not as expensive as other programs, we do understand that it's still expensive um, and not everybody can pay for the program in full. So we do offer a payment plan. For those people who are doing the payment plan, it's a $500 deposit. In fact, everybody pays a $500 deposit, but there's another $1,080 prior to the first day of class and another $1,080 per month for the next four months. So you pay for the program in the first half of the program. And there's a $400 administration fee, which is included if you do do the payment plan. If you pay in full, that $400 administration fee is waived. Therefore, a lot of people do opt to pay in full. We do offer discounts. So anybody who is currently employed as a healthcare worker must show proof of employment um, for working in healthcare, and we do offer a 20% discount. However, if you qualify for the discount, um, payment plan is not allowed and you have to pay in full thereafter. So our class schedule, our upcoming session is August 29th through April 2024, and that's a morning session, which is 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday through Thursday, so you always have a three-day weekend. Our evening session runs February 27th, 2024, so almost a year from now, through October 2024, and that's 6.30 to 9.30 Monday through Thursday, so you can choose if you want to do an evening class or a day class. Please note, Mission College, again, does not have rolling admissions for our pharmacy technician program. So about our registration process, it's all on our website, but I want to recap it for you here. Fill out an application form on the website, just here where you're seeing this information meeting. Please note that you have seen the video on the information meeting here on the application. You will be contacted um, by myself or by Jessica um, and at, invite you for a Zoom interview and assessment. If you are not a West Valley Mission College student currently, you also have to apply through this website here because you need to get a school ID and a G. O number, G0 number. So please make sure that you visit this website, https colon backslash backslash missioncollege.edu slash admissions slash 
apply.html and you will get your school, school ID and geo number. Once you have been accepted into our program, you must register and give a $500 non-refundable deposit to hold your spot. All students will receive a letter notifying of them their denial or acceptance. If accepted, great. Students will be given specific instructions on how to apply to the program. If you don't get accepted in the program, we'll let you know um, some options that you can do, and certainly you can apply again at another time. Students cannot register online for our specific program. There is a process and we will let you know within the email what that process for our registration is. Then the balance of $5,000 is due prior to your first day of class along with your completed health clearance form, background check and proof of high school diploma. Some final notes here before we wrap it up. Our classes are very popular and fill up quickly. Not all students get accepted. If you don't get accepted, we will let you know why and allow for you to apply again the following session. If you are interested in the next evening session, which starts in February 2024, at this time we're asking please not to request an interview. Registration for that session will start in November 2023. Currently, we are only taking applicants for our August day session, which starts the registration, May 2023. Visit us on Facebook, both um, through Mission College. Take a look at the Mission College website. And also we have a Mission College specific pharmacy technician program. Thank you so much for your time. Our staff is looking forward to meeting you and really helping you become a pharmacy technician. It's a wonderful career. I've been in this career <coughs> since 1997, got choked up there about that. Um, also take some time to take a look at our website. We've got great resources about our program. So happy to have met you on this information meeting and I hope to meet you in person. Thank you so much for your time today. Have a great one. Bye.